Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you old, fresh and sizzling news all day long. INEC career staff accused political appointees of manipulating a dual governorship election results in favor of APC. If you're here for the first time or you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe, like this video, leave your opinions in the comment section as well. Several senior career staff of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, have come forward accusing political appointees within the commission of manipulating the result of a recently concluded Edo State governorship election in favor of the All Progressive Congress, APC. According to the insiders, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, actually won the election, but the results were altered under the supervision of the Resident Electoral Commission, Anugbo Anoha. The INEC staff, who spoke under the condition of anonymity for fear of retribution, claimed that the manipulation took place at the state INEC office where results from polling units and collation centers were reportedly tampered with. The results were changed at the collation stage under direct supervision even though PDP had a clear lead in many areas one senior official reviewed. The career staff detailed a chilling atmosphere of threats and intimidation throughout the election process. According to them, Ono had threatened staff members with arrest by the Department of State Security, DSS, and termination of employment if they refused to cooperate in altering the election outcome. One staff who had direct knowledge of the situation stated, we were told in no uncertain terms that if we did not follow instructions, DSS would be called in and our jobs would be on the line. This high-pressure environment, the staffers claim, forced many to comply with directives against their will. The fear of losing your livelihood is a very powerful motivator, said another INEC official, who had it. It's difficult to fight back when you are being told that security forces will be used against you. The INEC career officers insist that PDP candidate Asui Godalo won the majority of votes cast in the election. However, during the collision process, the results were allegedly altered to give victory to APC candidate Senator Mondi Opobolon who was declared the winner with 291,667 votes against Opobolo's 247,274 votes. We saw the original result from the polling units, and PDP was ahead in most of the local government areas, especially in the central and southern part of the state, another INEC official explained. But when the results got to the state office for collation, everything changed. APC numbers increased dram dramatically and PDP's votes were reduced, she added. Staff members further reviewed that Onoha held private meetings with select political actors from the APC before the collation began, raising, raising suspicions about his neutrality. It was obvious to us that external forces were, were influencing the process an electoral officer involved in the coalition reviewed. The REC was more interested in securing the result for APC than ensuring the will of the people was upheld, he added. Civil society organizations and opposition parties are urging INEC to review the election results and investigate the role of ONOHA in alleged manipulation. The PDP has also indicated that it would be challenging the outcome of the election in court. You or what are your thoughts? I feel like, you know, this is a suspicion that most Nigerians had, you know, during the election. Most Nigerians knew because how how did this suddenly happen? People that, you know, people at each polling unit, at each local government were already sending results you know, to to the internet. And people were, were the figures we were seeing, you know, felt like Asu Ingudalo had is was winning. All of a sudden everything does change. 
and they decided not to announce results at the ward level or at the local government level and took everything to the state level to announce. That, that if nothing is suspicious, that in itself is suspicious. That is very suspicious in itself, you know, because why didn't INEC do it the way it's supposed to do it? But because they know that once they announce at the polling unit, at the ward level, at the local government level, it will be very difficult to change any result. It will be very difficult to manipulate. And this is what PDP has been, you know, complaining about since even before the election that, look, this person that is the REC, the Resident Electoral Commission, is not on our side. This person is biased. This person is obviously related to our enemy, Wiki, that promised not to work with us. And if you know Wiki, you would know that Wiki would want them to lose just to be able to say that it's because they did not support them. That was why they lost. And they have been shouting and telling INEC to change him. I don't know why INEC did not respond. At least the rule of the game, if you want everything to be fair, is that when there is a some there is someone who have been pointed to or pointed at as bias, you should change the person just f to clarify everything and to show everybody that you're being objective. But no, INEC did not do that. INEC felt that you know they should impose him on a do state PDP. Before we go, guys, let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online. Festus says, if Nigerian elections are to be truly free and fair, the leadership will look out for men and women with impeccable integrity, I agree, and put them in sensitive offices in INEC in all the states of the Federation and provide them with adequate security during elections and collation of results such that government officers would not interfere with their job. Let the government not pretend that they can't find such persons. Let us not think that university lecturers cannot be corrupted or leered. Olaiwola says, all these complain are moonlight story. Why can't you mention the person? Hmm. Livinus says, INEC declared results in the Edo governorship election was fake. The commission should be pressurized to release the authentic results. Party agents should publish the signed result sheets in the international news media for the whole world to see the handwork of INEC as electoral umpire in Nigeria. INEC has, you know, manipulated results. So, so, so the IREV result is different from what INEC, INEC announced. That in itself is an evidence. If PDP wants to pursue this matter to court, that is an evidence that they should use in court unless INET goes back to delete everything online. You all, this is where I'm going to be drawing the cuts in for now. Thank you very much for always listening and watching. I will see you all in my next video.